All right, so today on stream we were talking about the release of the first two videos uh, for the Beginner's Handbook, and I mentioned that I had some videos ready to go, and I, was, I asked chat if it was necessary to make a guide based solely upon leveling up units and how to promote your heroes. And then we started talking about it, and actually, yes, I should, because it is a little confusing, and there is some misinformation out there, and I want to clear that up, because I had... I was kind of felt like I was in a weird place because of how I was told and I was like, I was afraid to do stuff. So I'm gonna clear this up because I feel like this is the next best thing is because let's be real, you've got in the game, you now know what you're doing on where kind of where, where you're progressing to next. So the next logical question is how do I promote my hero? Because chances are you're gonna have some four star heroes along the way that you've pulled. Maybe from your selective summon, you're gonna be wanting to work towards um, six starring Sigret for getting uh, your slot your moonlight connection uh leveled up so this this was the logical next step this needs to be video three so we're going to talk about uh leveling up heroes so if we go to the main key thing which are the phantasma family uh you have black phantasmas yellow phantasmas and you have white phantasmas the uh which is actually in game it's terra giga and mega by the way um the misinformation that I kind of was fed in the beginning, or I wouldn't even necessarily call misinformation, but just odd information, is I was told not to level dogs into dogs. Okay? Logistically, I see why. It's because that the Phantasmas have a EXP bonus to them. And they're not necessarily the cheapest thing to summon, but they're cheap to summon. So you, you want them to use for leveling up. And in the old case of the way things used to work before the Rise update was you would dog walk, and that term is probably going to forever sit around just because it's it's ingrained in a lot of people's heads. Back in the day, you would take something like a uh, Free Spirit Tyria, um, now with Moonlight Connections, it would be like Arbiter Vildred, Vildred, uh, Lena, there was, a lot of a there was a lot of farmers in the game, AoE farmers, and they would be your dog walker. And the reason they called it dog walker is because you'd put one Mega Phantasma, you'd put or one Giga Phantasma, one Mega Phantasma, and then you would put on a two-star fodder like this Carbuncle. And you would walk those three to max level, and then you would rinse and repeat. Well, I noticed something within my first week of doing this. My Mega Phantasmas and my Giga Phantasmas leveled up at the exact same rate. My two-star fodder was just one turn behind them the entire way. They made the XP bonus on this thing sound so drastically different that it really doesn't matter. I look now at Phantasmas as equal fodder. Now, I say that, but I also, when I mean that is, is they are they are all equal. They are not better or worse than the other because it's one turn difference. You're talking eight energy in adventure mode for most anything. If you're doing it in side story, yes, it's more expensive. But you also have to look at what you're getting in the difference of cost of energy. But nowadays, with the Rise update, we're now given things for penguins. And we don't necessarily need to dog walk anymore. The math is still a little gray on it. I'm not going to say that it is um, ideal or that we have concrete evidence. Right now, my math is saying it actually is better to just run four max level heroes and just play the game. Stop having to worry about, okay, two-star fodder takes four runs, three-star fodder takes about eight to ten runs, uh, then four-star fodder will be about 25 runs. Okay, so I have to come back and check on this. Now it's just, you set it, you forget it, and you earn friendship, and you earn penguins along the way, because here's what you do. You hit auto-select. I'm not going to level her up, because I have no reason to be leveling up Crescent Moon Ren. You'll hit level up. Now, here's the thing. You see that it says max level. And you've probably be, maybe been told, maybe by a streamer or a friend that plays, that uh, there is a chance to... So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! Is a chance to proc a good or great enhancement on leveling up heroes and gear and stuff like that. You're correct. That does exist. So, you could, if you want, to sit there and spam, what was it, 38 penguins? So you could click here, level up. You could do this 38 times. If you want to be that person and level up to make sure you get the most efficient roll possible, you can do that. Nobody's going to judge you. 
Your carpal tunnel in your hand, though, is probably going to start hating you within the next uh, five minutes of doing this. Is it worth it? It's a penguin. It's a penguin difference. Maybe two or three. You get roughly a penguin every run when you start running um, your unrecorded history. And you'll uh, start getting like two penguins in um, side story when you get around to that. Honestly, take the gamble. If you overcap it and it and it does crit on a good or great chance, you're going to get a refund of, a pe of the penguins anyway. You, so it's just do it. Once you've done that, then you take your three-star, four-star fodder. In this case, I need to go summon some because I literally have none. So here's how you do this. And I'll tell you, new players, you, prob you probably don't want to be doing this yet. This is a little more expensive for new players just because... Friendship points are gained by using, by friends using your units. No offense to you, your best unit, the one you got from your Moonlight Connection, can't be set as a support unit for them to use for friendship. Nobody's going to want to use your low level unit. I'm sorry, it's just not how it goes. Now sure, you'll get in the beginning people using that friendship Roz because you haven't probably set it up. And I'll show you how to set that up before the end of the video just because we're talking about friendship and you probably want to know how to do that. So that'll be the little bonus at the end what of the video. Um, so friendship in the shop, buy it. It's earned through people using your friendship or using your units for friendship. And you come down here to friendship summons. Don't buy it from the secret shop, by the way. That's like 18,000, 19,000 gold you can save. Come in here, click summon. And I'm going to do two pulls and we get a griffin. Good. We get a cool. We got three two star fodder we'll do it again i got mostly artifacts and we've got one two three good we got we got fodder so i'm good to go so we've summoned up some fodder the artifacts uh you can just cycle them into something you're leveling up here i'll even do it just so that you see that i'm not just saying doing it i'm actually doing it uh i need to level up uh aureus so we'll just feed in all of our one star two star fodder just again, be safe so that you see that I'm doing this and that I'm not just telling you something. I actually practice what I preach here. And again, you could take this one at a time. I ain't got time for that. This is a video. Uh, I've also got a lot of uh, artifact fodder, so I'm not going to do that. And then my three stars and four star, five star artifacts. We do not do that with. Only do two stars. That's all they're good for is leveling up artifacts. They're not worth selling or anything like that. Okay. So we've got our summit. We've got our... We got our um, two-star fodder. We've got our... Um, we've got heroes to promote. We've got some penguins. Uh, for those of you who aren't earning penguins because you're brand new and you haven't hit max level, all it means when we mean run with max level heroes is that it says max. It can be max three-star. It can be max four-stars. It can be max five-stars. Just as long as it says max, you are earning penguin EXP. And if any unit is still gaining EXP, they are not going to be earning Penguin EXP. So for those of you who are wondering what Penguin EXP is, you're probably being curious and concerned because you're just not seeing it earned. It'll come. Just max out your first four units and then you'll start earning it. It's a little slower in the beginning. Then Unrecorded History, it picks up. It gets better in Chapter 2 and then it gets better in Chapter 3. And Side Story has the most Penguin EXP per run. Hopefully they change it to where Hunts and all this other crap earns it because it's it's a good system if they're truly sincere about wanting to end dog walking completely and how we knew it, then it should happen. Okay, so here we go. We could use the big boy. There's no point in using it. So I could do this and we could seriously sit here and hope for the best that we get a great success or we're just going to click here, click auto and just let it do its thing. The same thing happens. Okay. So, for promoting it, you literally just take two-star fodder. Doesn't matter what type. Just put it in and promote. So, you do this process all the way up to four stars. Now, why do I say all the way up to four stars? Because, personally, I would rather save the Phantasmas. If I'm going to gain anything from an EXP bonus, it is from the Phantasmas there. Because it is slightly more expensive to take a four-star up. And if I have, I think I have a four star. Yeah, I have a four star Phantasma here. Just to give you the idea, it's 18, roughly, I think between 16 and 18 um, 
penguins to level up from 30 to 40 on a Giga Phantasma. Um, so if it's going to save you a penguin or two, save the uh, Phantasmas for your actual f level 40 max heroes. Because after that, you're never you're not going to need to promote unless you have um, you shouldn't ha you will never need to promote again uh, for leveling up fodder. Because all you need to do is get these five stars to then level up your actual five star units. And the same thing would apply here. You'd come in here, you'd select your four star fodders, and or your your new five star units, phantasmas, and you'd be able to level this up. And it takes five to do a six star promotion. So in total, you will need to do the connection. You will need ten of those to give you a rough idea. That's about to do all ten is roughly six hundred, about six hundred and fifty two star fodder from base to four star. That, that's how many it'll take. You'll take around 600. It's about 300 and change to do a um, to do one full promotion uh, to go from you know a bunch of two stars to the five um, the five five stars you need to promote a hero to six star. And it seems like a lot. You earn a lot though, especially just doing content. You're gonna earn as you're burning through that story. Just keep them going. And if you happen to run out of space in your thing, uh, in your main hero box, move them to your move them over here. And if you if it comes down to even of you just you don't want you'd rather have all your three star fodder your three star units in here, move those in here. If you're gonna work on them slowly over time, you don't need to have all these here yet. I'll explain why later when you when we get to guilds of why you'll want th your three stars, especially when we start talking about world boss. Um, but just move them in here if that's the case and you just keep piling up your three star um, or your two star monsters and level them up and keep them going as much as you possibly can. So that's going to take care of it for this guide. Let's move on to the next thing. Hi, you thought I forgot about you. No, I did this intentionally. I wanted you to think I ended the video. And this is why the Easter egg is here at the very, very end. That's right. So, you saw the bumper, you were sitting there thinking about it, and you're like, wait a minute, didn't he say he was gonna show us something else? You're right, I am. And here's your bonus tip. So, to set up your heroes for, um, to earn friendship points, you come into your friends list, you hit account management, and you can see these heroes right here. So when you look at somebody's hero list, you will see these. So this means my Arbiter Vildred is um, my main supporter. So if you have, if I'm on your friends list, this is the main one that's gonna default to. But you have all of these units below that you can pick from. You will see, you can pick from my Jugs, you can pick from um, Lilius, Biken, don't please don't pick either one of those those are ungeared but that's the highest geared i've got uh we've got flan we've got vivian we've got tamarin tamarin's a great one for you guys um but these are the heroes that you're going to be using now how do you get these now how do you set yours supporter management really simple of click the auto assign button and there you go it'll auto assign you the highest geared basically it's going to do this the only reason I switched Sigrid off is because there are so many people who have Sigrid. My judge is actually better for most players at that point. Sure, she's going to have the higher damage, but at least you have more utility, in my opinion, from my judge Kisei, because you're able to roll back some, you're able to basically stall out somebody's turn, so instead of them going immediately in and using their skill threes, you can reset that, push them back, you can strip with, you can strip a debuff off with your S2, she can defense break on her S1, she's an overall great unit, so yes, instead of me having my cigarette here, which is where 90% of the warriors are going to be, because it's going to be your probably your best geared warrior, here I chose to put uh, um, Judge Kisei here. As you can tell, she is much further down on the line than Sigurd. She's a good, what, 10,000... Um, yeah, she's a good 10,000 CP off difference in score. But I felt like it was a better utility unit overall. I could go in and you can manually pick them. But honestly, for a new player in account, 
just click the button and walk away and then let your friends start using the most important one though is the lead unit that's the one that's most likely to get cycled off so please have this be your best geared unit if you see happen to see something for something really weird and you're going wait they have no gear on them but they're here but this unit has gear make sure your lead has gear on them because this is what will show up right here so if we go to adventure we're going to jump in this is the lead supporter, so this is what they have set, and this is what's gonna cycle through. So if your cigarette's showing up in the warrior tab, and she's your best geared, or obviously Arby might be your best geared, or Spectre Sneaver, whoever you picked off the moonlight might be your best, but until you get gold one, they can't go here, so your number two will probably be here, which is fine. That's completely 100% acceptable. So that's it for how to earn friendship too as a little bonus at the end of promoting because I figured it needed to go together. So now let's really move on to the next thing.